Welcome back. As we earlier said that the uh, 29th uh, annual meetings of the Efraxim Bank uh, was uh, held at, uh, here in Egypt at the administra administrative capital and was attended by the head of state president at the Fetah Sisi where he sent different messages to uh, different uh, countries, uh, different African countries and worldwide. Uh, very delighted to be having with us Mr. Abdullah Kigami, African Youth Ambassador. Good morning, Kigami. Uh, good morning. How are you doing? Fine. Uh, right. Uh, if you could shed more light on the major points that were tackled by President Abdel Fattah Sisi during the inauguration of the 29th meeting of the Afraxim Bank in the administrative capital. Uh, yeah, uh, we know that uh, the African Bank is an uh, export, import, uh, import uh, 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 bank here yeah, and is uh, headquartered here in Egypt, in Cairo, and uh, has a regional offices in Abuja and was held the annual summit in four days since Wednesday in the new capital, administrative capital here in Egypt. And uh, we know, as usual, uh, President Abdul Fattah Sisi always on his uh, speech they used to emphasize on uh, the, the African uh, free trade, uh, like we know that the last uh, three to four years in 2019, mm. 2020, and 19, and uh, 2000, sorry, and uh, 17 and 18. Uh, we, uh, uh, for example, Fatah Sisi uh, held a, a conference here Right. Uh, why is it a must to address differences and uh, conflicts in the continent to achieve sustainable development? Yeah, we know that uh, Africa, like always, uh, we said that uh, uh, the export or the, the, the import within the, 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 the African free trade fire is more important here in Africa because, like, we know that uh, the businesses in Africa, uh, we don't have that much African to African businesses and African to African, uh, what they call it, collaboration. And the always the President Abdul Fattah Sisi uh, tried to emphasize on this, uh, what they call it, uh, on this point of the, the collaboration and uh, interaction of African businesses. And uh, I think uh, about 3,000 uh, governmental, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, people attended, uh, the ministers, uh, the, the highest uh, governmental, uh, what we call it, uh, uh, personnel and uh, the, the banks and Central Bank of Egypt uh, and uh, the African Bank and uh, much uh, what entrepreneurs, ETC, attended this uh, conference or this summit of two, uh, 2022 here in the uh, administration and to help these uh, sessions in the Africa, uh, in the new administrative capital uh, to show us that Africa is gaining and Egypt is trying uh, what we call it to, 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 to improve and to show Africans that uh, uh, what we call it uh, uh, Egypt needs to have that collaboration and President Abdel Fattah Sisi always tried to, uh, like if you see the speech of uh, uh, the Central Bank uh, of Egypt, uh, what we call it uh, governor to emphasizing on how uh, African interaction or African summit or African business to business in Africa really needs to improve and uh, what we call the, the importance of this thing for Africa and African people. Yeah. The Central Bank of Egypt Governor Dr. Tara Amil said that uh, the state injected huge funds into the economic sectors. Uh, so really? how do you... Uh, uh, think uh, that is important or that move is important and um, its role in boosting the private sector? Yeah, it's very important because uh, uh, we know that uh, in the African uh, Bank in the sessions too aims to pump about 20 billion uh, US dollars to support African trade over five years. If you see that uh, uh, the, 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 the African uh, what they call it as so summit, the, 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 the Egyptian uh, central bank governor used to emphasize on uh, how to boost uh, this African, uh, what they call it, uh, like we said before, the, uh, the African to African business. And I think uh, uh, this uh, needs to know that, for example, huge African 
uh, states or African countries like Egypt, Nigeria, South Africa, etc. All these countries need to come together in one place for them to boost this African, uh, what we call it, trade fair or African uh, export import within Africa, as uh, we know, and internationally too. But uh, I know Africa now, we have the business of uh, 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 international businesses. Uh, we, uh, 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 but, but we don't have that within African, uh, what we call ranges of, uh, what, uh, what we call it, uh, uh, Africa business to business or, trade, or free trade fire. And if we see that we need more, it's, it's not only the, 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 the business, the uh, business in Africa needs to have, for example, like was said in the sessions to the security, what we call it, and the borders, or, 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 or uh, what we call it, to ease the movement in Africa. And this is what always uh, President Abdul Fattah Sisi used to, to, to emphasize on uh, what we call it the, 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 in the business is the security. We need to have more security uh, in Africa. We need to have all these, uh, what we call it, uh, borders, or what we call it, uh, traveling, uh, uh, means and uh, for for example the train uh, or, or, or the plane or the or the sea or all this try to ease the movement in Africa for us to have or to boost uh, this business or to boost the export import within Africa uh, or together in, in Africa so it will show us that Africa is improving and Africa is becoming one of the uh, continents in, in the world that. You, uh, used to uh, what we call it to, to 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 try to give each other the what we need in in the or exchanging of the business in Africa. Yeah. Uh, tell us more about the role of, of uh, security and stability when it comes to achieving development. How important is it to be achieved? Yeah, we know that uh, always uh, when uh, business people here in uh, businessmen in Africa. Uh, in Egypt, sorry, if we, uh, for example, in the embassies or in, 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 the, in, in, in conferences, when we are talking about business in Africa, always we, we must talk about the security or insecurity in Africa. Many uh, 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 people that need to go to African countries uh, to start a business or, or even international people to come to Africa for them to start a business or to to, to improve businesses in Africa, they are always talking about insecurity. African, we have insecurity. We have ETC. This is a, a main issue that, uh, what do you call it, uh, bother us always in Africa. And uh, if we see Egypt is very, uh, it's one of the most uh, secured country, or the President Abdel Fattah is always try to uh, give good what we call it security and improve Egyptian security for us to have good uh, for our African. Yeah, yes, yeah, like for example, in Nigeria too, we have insecurity, but uh, the government trying to tackle this issue of the security, uh, what we call it insecurity issues in many countries. Then I think if you are talking in, the, in Africa, if you are talking about trade, uh, what we call it business or trade or ETC, you must bring the uh, insecurity issue and we must tackle this issue for us to have good business to business or to boost that uh, business and i think uh, uh, governments are trying more to see this issue yeah for us to improve african business to business or uh, togetherness in this uh, uh, business or trade or free trade fire uh, Right. How did the economic reform program provide protection and how did it help in restructuring uh, the currency resources in view of the international and geopolitical uh, crisis and the rising food prices currently? Yeah, I, 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 I know that in these uh, four days uh, sessions in uh, administrative uh, uh, capital here in Egypt, I think the U United Nations uh, personnel uh, attended and I think Africa Union uh, too attended, and the many international and international, uh, what we call it, business uh, uh, people, the icons of business in Africa and in the world attended, and they see together, and uh, what we call it, sit together to see how to improve. And I think uh, if we are talking in uh, business in Africa, we must, like we said before, uh, talk about uh, insecurity. We must, the central banks of Africa, or each government, 
uh, need uh, with the business people in Africa to come together and collaborate together to see that Africa is the best or Africa is moving uh, forward to see that that business, uh, what they call links and uh, ATC come together and improve the African, what they call it, businesses in Africa. Yeah. Right. How, uh, why is it important for this gathering to tackle Africa in face of the external and the internal challenges? Yeah, I think, uh, uh, like, like we said before, in uh, Africa, yeah, we have the internal challenges like insecurity and external challenges like this, what the boundaries or the, uh, the taxes or ETC, all these issues. Because now in Africa, if we are talking about business, only, only huge, uh, what we call it, uh, business people or businessmen, uh, what, what we call it, uh, come in together. What we need as a youth or an, as, an, as Africa, is how to build a young business people, how to build a start up what we call it businesses in Africa. If we are talking about this issue of African Bank or government personnel or central banks of, uh, of, 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 of Africans, uh, countries and governments, we need to emphasize on the new or the youth. We need to emphasize on the, what we call it uh, the, the, the start up uh, businesses. We need to see all these issues because if we are talking about business in Africa always we are just talking about the huge uh, what do you call it uh, people in Africa or the government or HEC and I think uh, the, uh, the government personnel or the central bank governors or the forums that was held and uh, continuously in Africa needs to look about the youth about the new startup about the uh, young business people for them to give them or boost them and I think with this Africa would be uh, because the huge business means a little in Africa, but with the boosting of these young people, uh, or young generation, and that, that, that's what uh, uh, President Abdul Fattah Sisi said in the World Youth Forum. He said that the young people, the youth, the businesses, and all these issues need to boost to give the youth and give the young people the right to have uh, free movements in Africa, free trade uh, warfare, and how to have or improve because we know that Africa, we have about 70% or more uh, Africans are youth. Then we need to look at on the next sessions or ETC, they need to look up, uh, uh, on this issue of youth for them to boost this African, uh, what they call it, interaction, this African business, uh, and to see, to improve that next year. Talk to us about the capacity of the African uh, exports and uh, why is it important to for Africa to diversify uh, these exports and uh, uh, try to uh, update, uh, empowering and enforcing those uh, exports? Yeah, if we see uh, uh, in African exports, so, uh, it's, so, it's, so, it's, it's so little, or if you see, for example, in like uh, countries like Nigeria, it is, for example, crude oil, it is, this was uh, what they call it exported to, uh, to, 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 to the world, and then uh, after processing it, it will, uh, they will bring it back to Nigeria, for example, or any African countries, and sell it in a prices that uh, Africans or did not uh, what you can afford, afford it or, or, or expensive, for example, this uh, petrol, etc. Uh, I think Africa, uh, they, they need to see their problems, they need to, see, to, to sit down together and see how to improve their manufacturing or what they call it, the, 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 the countries or Africa made in Africa. We need to, uh, to see these issues made in Africa and uh, to uh, stop exporting the, the main mineral resources of Africa to the world and bring it, it back after processing it and selling it with the, what we call it, huge money that normal African people cannot afford. I think uh, we need to see this issue of export in Africa. And even if you want to export, for example, uh, I think Egypt and Sudan have some links of export ETC, and they are managing to uh, help each other and to see that African manufacturer, manufacturers or African made in Egypt or Sudan, it is all these issues bringing uh, togetherness of uh, what we call uh, togetherness to get in, in Africa. And I think all African countries need to have this. For example, if we see Nigeria with some uh, neighboring countries like Chad, like Cameroon, like Niger, we have some export, import, but it's 
still little that we need to boost it and we need to uh, what we call it, make the export and the import and then the import of, for example, Egypt has many issues that Nigerians need. Nigeria has many mineral resources, has many issues that Egypt needs, for example, Sudan needs from Nigeria or Nigeria needs from uh, any African country, then we need to sit down and to make these sessions or African Bank or any, uh, what we call it, gov governmental forums and conferences continuously for us to see what is our problem in export, why are we Africans exporting our, uh, what we call mineral resources to uh, or, 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 the, or the natural resources outside Africa and bring it back to for us to buy it or sell it in a huge money that normal African people cannot afford. We need to look about all these issues and next to tackle all these issues for us to improve the or boost the African business or African uh, trade uh, what we call fair. fair. I think African uh, Bank is trying too much to link or to see uh, this and uh, Central Bank of Egypt, Central Banks of African countries. All I think uh, we are following up to see that uh, all these issues are, are, are coming or are helping uh, continuously for Africa to improve. They are, they, are, they are trying their best, but we need more effort for us to uh, boost and to know that Africa is becoming uh, the huge, uh, what they call it, uh, or, or, or what we, we need or what we like or to, 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 to reach the uh, what development and real development yeah, and prosperity. Right. Uh, what about the importance of strengthening uh, the African infrastructure with a view to improving quality and competitiveness as well as uh, removing the trade barriers between countries? Yeah, I know that uh, always if you see made in Africa, people are looking it down or are looking it that it's not that qualitative. Uh, and, think, and I think uh, we need to give awareness to Africans that uh, African uh, handmade or African made or made in Africa is uh, not that local what, what uh, or normally people of Africa need. They need to see that uh, the, 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 the goods that are, bu that are buying to see it made in uh, any other countries uh, of, of, of the world. But uh, I think this is very important question that African leaders or African banks or African businessmen need to give to improve the met in Africa and to, to reach the, the international quality. The, the, the international quality. We know that uh, made in Africa, so we have many uh, teams or many manufacturers that, or many companies that used to manufacture Africa. But if you come to Africa normally, uh, uh, market, or if you come to Africa, normal African people, you will see that, that you see that Africans are using made in uh, what we call any other country, Germany, made in uh, China, made in made in. But you will not see made in Africa, what we call it, moving in the African market. And you will see that local businessmen or local manufacturers or local African countries are not giving, uh, Africans are not helping them or giving them uh, what we call it, uh, uh, help for them to uh, improve their met in Africa. This is very important question that we need awareness. We need awareness and we need our African countries to reach that quality, the international quality for them to, uh, uh, and not only fail in Africa, like you said before, we need to export outside, but not export our natural resources or that important resources. No, we need to, uh, what we call it, uh, our good, our made in Africa, we need to see it in the world market, not only locally here in Africa, yes. Right. Uh, as you know that Africa is mostly bearing the brunt of uh, climate change, how did that uh, fact affect the, its economies and its resources? Yeah, it's, uh, that, that, that uh, what you call it uh, makes uh, African economics. And if what, uh, we know that we have a continual something, uh, problems in Africa, we start things and uh, uh, along the way we, 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 we don't have that follow-up what you call it, uh, to follow it up and to what you call it, to see it. Like, for example, I will give you, for example, with Egypt, uh, President Abdul Fattah, he always need uh, to uh, try to what we call with uh, supervision. He needs, uh, he, he, he emphasized on 
a, a project or anything to supervise and sometimes he, he, he go there with himself to see and to follow up the, the mini, mini, what do you call it, uh, 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 things in Egypt for it to fix the country and that means in Africa we need to have good supervision, we need to have good, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, quality and giving or, or helping hands and that all, all the need to, what do you call it, to be in Africa for us to boost this African, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, business or to improve the African uh, trade fair. We need to do more. I know that governments and businessmen, all of us in Africa and youth in Africa are trying to see that things are moving good or are doing well. But we need to have or give helping hand all together for us to see that Africa is moving forward. Yeah. Right. Mr. Abdullah Kigami, the African Youth Ambassador to Egypt, would like to thank you very much and wish you all the best. And we're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the breakfast show, so stay with us.